Hi everyone, Zekul here. This is Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition uh, with FSR filtering. And it looks way, way, way better than what the game does by default. This might be the first time you've seen this. Now, this is a screenshot. I've prepared this so as not to waste your time fiddling with options. But um, for reference, this is what the game looks like by default. This is what you're used to. Uh, if I uh, go back 100%, this is what it would actually look like uh, on your monitor, minus the paint, the software interface that I'm running on top. Um, there's actually some serious garbling going on that, that I noticed when I was doing this, like around the edges here. Um, that's crazy. That, that's something the game does by default. But um, more to the point, like a lot of people have complained over the years that these games, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition, and Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition, they all look um, they, all, they all look kind of off, they all look kind of blurry. And this is what you can do with a method that I'm going to show you. Uh, you can apply a different scaling filter like Langsauce, which makes everything look a lot sharper. This is what the game used to look like um, when it was first released, by the way, uh, until they screwed it up in a later patch. And with FSR, which is a more recent uh, scaling algorithm developed by AMD, which actually they use in all, uh, all sorts of uh, modern titles to um, allow rendering at a lower resolution and then you upscale it like NVIDIA DLSS, stuff like that. Uh, I'm getting really technical here, but uh, this is a, a more recent scaling algorithm that gives really good results on Baldur's Gate. Now you may prefer Langsauce, um, it's up to you. I think FSR looks great, but um, anyway, both look miles better than what BGEE does by default, uh, which is this. And um, here's another example that I took. Um, this is just in Nashkel. Uh, so this is your default scaling. This is what you're used to, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Uh, this, by the way, is their nearest neighbor scaling. I'm going to get into more detail about that in just a second, but it's horrible. Okay, it looks sharper, yes. It looks more pixelated, yes, but not in a good way. Uh, your picture is actually getting all sorts of garbled here. Um, it's terrible. Uh, don't, don't use nearest neighbor scaling, except to enable what I'm going to show you. Uh, you're actually going to need it, but don't use it for scaling. This looks terrible. Uh, and then FSR. Okay, just to show you, like if we zoom in, um, here this bridge here, you got a line, which marks the separation between the stone structure and the dark background behind, and it's all sorts of garbled here. And with FSR we actually get something looking like a straight line and we get all the detail in the stone um, popping out, which in nearest neighbor is just like a mess of pixels. And the default scaling does better, um, but it's messed up. Actually here, we got an example of a seam. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a line running through here in between these two. And this is due to how the game renders internally it chunks the image. Uh, I don't know if we can see another line, but this is a good example of one. It uh, of what's going on. It it actually renders by chunks, and each chunk gets scaled separately. And when it joins them together, you get these ugly seams that don't actually have bilinear filtering between them. So uh, you actually have these ugh, really ugly seams that just can't stand. So anyway. Um, I'm gonna go briefly over, um, you might not care about this, uh, all the details. I'm going to put uh, chapters in the video so you can skip ahead if you're not interested in all the details. But I just wanna go over why nearest neighbor is not the answer. Okay, so here's um, a simple explanation of what's going on here. Basically, on the left side, you got what would be the source art, right? This is like just four pixels. And let's imagine we got two blue pixels on the left, two blue pixels on the right, 
And we need to scale this to three by three because this is what your monitor happens to be and your zoom level happens to be. We, we need to scale this 2D image onto these pixels here. So what do we do? Nearest neighbor um, is an algorithm where you have to take one of the original colors, right? So on the left side, obviously it's gonna be blue. On the right side, it's going to be red. But what should it be here um, in the middle? With nearest neighbor scaling, the only thing you can do is pick one. It's either blue or it's red. So you're gonna have to pick arbitrarily. So here I picked blue, but red would have been just as wrong. Um, like clearly this is not <laughs> this is not the right thing, right? Uh, you, you, can, you cannot split here because these are actually physical pixels. Like you can't, you, you, you would wanna split this, but, but you don't like this. This is what you're working with. You, you have to somehow smoosh this over that. And this is what we do with slightly more advanced algorithms like bilinear scaling. Um, so here, um, this is very roughly what bilinear scaling would do, uh, we, which is more correct, all right? Uh, there's nothing really wrong with bilinear scaling, uh, which is what BGE um, does by default. It's just that we got better scaling algorithms than, than that now. Um, so here we will do sort of an average in, in the middle. And this is okay, all right? So, so what BG is doing by default, um, if we don't, if we set aside the ugly seams that are there and like the garbling that is there, but the basic idea of doing bilinear scaling, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just blurry. Um, and we can do better. We can do better like this, right? So much better so much more detail. So how to get better scaling in the enhanced edition of Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 2, Icewind Dale, and Planescape Torment. If you're using a much, much older version, like I think 1.3 um, has the original scaling, in which case you don't need this. But if you're running a, a recent version, if you're running the latest patch, then um, you might wanna give this a try. Okay, so uh, just to recap, this is what we have versus what could be. And here it's not that, probably not that obvious um, on the video, uh, which, which is why I made these comparisons in, in paint.net. Um, and yeah, nearest neighbor scaling is just not a solution, all right? So what we're going to do is we need to disable all scaling, all, all, all the different scaling methods that the game uses. Um, so first we have to run the game windowed the window height must be 768. This is a magic number. Uh, by the way, the first time you run the game, if you hit Alt Enter, it will resize, I believe, to 1024 by 768, uh, which is the correct, uh, which is the correct height. And then the width, you will set this according to your aspect ratio. Um, for most people, this is going to be 169. And then um, you just do the math, it's about 1366 pixels in width. If you have a different aspect ratio, that translates into a different width. Uh, then we're going to disable all in-game scaling methods, and we're gonna use uh, a utility called Magpie. There might be other ones available, but this is the one I use. It's really easy, it works super well. Uh, for scaling full screen using whatever scaling algorithm you like. Um, so first of all, in order to apply steps one to four, we're going to open this file called balder.lua. This is in your document slash balder's git enhanced edition folder. Um, the file, I believe, has the exact same name for the other enhanced editions, and it's just going to be in document slash Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition or Planescape Enhanced Edition. And you're going to set these properties. I just added some comments to explain what's going on. Um, we're gonna set the height to 768, which together with a zoom lock option will disable sprite scaling. Uh, then the width as calculated before. Um, the We're gonna set this uh, to not run full screen. We want this windowed and we don't want the window to be maximized. We want it to be at our height that we specified. Um, then zoom lock will be at one. This disables the in-game zooming, which 
I thought would disable all scaling, but it doesn't actually disable, uh, <laughs> let me show you this, this is funny. Um, when I saw this, I thought my whole idea was ruined, but because like this is what happened if you just enable zoom lock, okay? The sprites look good. The sprites are not scaled anymore, but the backgrounds are still blurry and it's, you wouldn't notice it, but like I compared with um, a straight render from uh, near infinity and, and you can see here the difference, like how, like this looks like a blurry mess compared like to this area here. This area is what it should look like with like all sorts of fine detail. And like, this is what it actually looks like. So this is why um, you actually need to use this, use nearest neighbor scaling. This will not result in any sort of scaling, actually. It's just going to disable whatever scaling is still going on with a zoom lock of one. Don't ask me exactly how that works. I suspect that this background is getting rendered with a half pixel offset. Okay, so it's, it's one one with with the original, there's no scaling, but it's being rendered with a half pixel offset, which means like everything gets blurred. Um, this is really sad. Uh, BGEE, the, the graphic engine really saddens me, um, but we can fix this. So, uh, so with this, we disabled scaling of background of backgrounds. And in Planescape Torment, there is a, there is a Planescape Torment specific option that is called Game World Scaling. All right, we need this in Planescape Torment. By the way, in Planescape Torment, the renderer, the default renderer, I think even if you enable linear scaling, which is bilinear scaling, um, still renders you using nearest neighbor. A PST is somehow even more broken. So anyway, um, if you're not going to do what I'm showing you here in Planescape Torment, at least enable the alternate renderer. Um, although it does seem to have its, its graphical glitches as well. So I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. Uh, this is your Baldur.Lua. Uh, this one is for my Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition installation. And I got one here. This is for Planescape Torment. And this one is for Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition. And it's all the same. It's still called Baldur.Lua because all these games run on pretty much the same engine. Um, and yeah, the options are here. If you don't have them, maybe you never ran the game windowed. I think if you never ran the game windowed, you're not gonna have the window options, just add them. Uh, or run the game windowed once and then save and exit. It's gonna, they are going to appear. So anyway, you want the width here at 1366, the height, uh, sorry, the height at 768. X and Y is the position on screen, doesn't matter. Uh, full screen and maximized. Um, use nearest neighbor scaling and the zoom lock, which is here. And if you're in Planescape Torment, you also want the game world scaling to one as well. All right. And then the next thing we're going to do now, just to show you, like, this is what you're going to get. Okay. You're going to get the game in a window like this, but no scaling. It's going to look super good, but really small. Um, yeah, this should be, yeah, this should be it. So now, how do we make this full screen? We do not hit Alt Enter. Alt Enter will tell the game to render full screen. This is not what we want. We want the game to keep rendering in a window, to keep thinking it's rendering at this resolution so it doesn't do any of its scaling crap that we don't want. Um, instead, we will use a third party utility. I use Magpie. Um, you can find this on GitHub. I can put the link in the description. You go to releases, uh, download the latest one, Windows version. And then I got this running here. And it's very simple. Once you have the game, you just leave this up and running. Uh, you hit Windows Shift A and boom, your game is gonna be full screen. Yes. I'll, just, uh, I'll just hit Windows Shift A here. And there you go. And it will apply um, whatever scaling mode you want. And it has a wealth of them, okay? It has so many different 
scaling modes you can use. The ones I would recommend are Blank Sauce um, or Bicubic. Bicubic slightly less sharp, but both are about the same. Um, and if you like FSR personally, this is my favorite. Um, this is a good one. So here in defaults, just choose, um, let's say FSR. And then next time you hit Control Shift A, bam, what? you're using FSR. Look how everything is like really, really sharp. All right, um, here's some Icewind Dale footage just to show uh, what this looks like. Ready. So this is unscaled. And this is with FSR. I'll handle it. I'm going to stick with FSR in the demo because it's the one that looks the most impressive, in my opinion. Uh, but just look how amazingly sharp this looks. I mean, I hope this is coming out well on the YouTube video, even with compression. I'll handle it. Uh, but I mean, look at the snow. Look at the snow on the buildings, how sharp these lines look like. Almost looks like it's getting rendered in 3D. Like, I mean, it is a 3D rendered, but like, it's like you eliminate all the pixelation and it looks so much more real. Honestly, it's quite a stark difference. Um, and you probably need to try it out for yourself on your own monitor at your native resolution to, to really be able to appreciate um, the difference it makes. Uh, if it doesn't make much of a difference for you, I would say uh, probably don't do this because uh, you will actually lose the ability to zoom. Uh, you're running with zoom lock, which like I can scroll my mouse right now. It's doing nothing. Um, also, you, you're and you're kind of stuck in this kind of zoomed out view, which I wish the game would have a uh, more zoomed would be more zoomed in by default, but it's not. Um, and the UI takes a bit of a hit. You'll notice the text is not quite as as sharp as it as it usually is. I'll I'll show the comparison. This is how sharp it usually is. Okay, and like this is your journal, and if I go back to like the FSR method, now this is your journal. You see, like. It's not that bad looking, but uh, now the UI is the blurry thing. <laughs> but Orders. I'd rather have the UI look a bit blurry I'm than looking. the actual sprites. Cause I mean, those poor sprites that were designed for 640 by 480, it, there's not that many pixels there. So, you know, let's make the most out of them uh, okay. that, that we can. Anyway, right. I've been having a lot of fun replaying the game for the past uh, two days, especially Baldur's Gate 1 with this and just seeing uh, these backgrounds in a different light, especially like being used to how BGEE renders them by default. It's such a big difference. I'll handle it. So that's a short preview of uh, Icewind Dale. Let's take a look at Tormund. Uh, this is not what I want. I want window. Okay. And then let's resume. Done. And I'm gonna put this full screen. Now there's probably a rendering bug with my cursor here that I can't see, but you can see it. Uh, I just need to... This is... You won't have to do this. I have to do this because I'm recording. Um... But anyway, check out the character sprites. In particular, I think it makes a big difference for character sprites. They're looking so much sharper. And backgrounds as well, like like the lines here on the floor. Like FSR is really good with lines. Anything straight. Um, you know, random detail, like like the very fine detail is I mean as good as any other, I guess, but when it comes to lines, wow, it's really something else. Anyway, I don't want to get overly long with this. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you try it out and I'll see you guys next time.